Troy Bramston had an interesting article in the Australian Weekend uh, about how Anthony Albanese wants to change Australia, radically transform it. Oh, who'd have guessed? What? <laughs> what? A socialist, former ex, you know, kind of fan of the Communist Party, a hardcore lefty Labor guy, wants to get into power, dresses up in a suit, <laughs> slims himself down, looks great for the cameras, but no, underneath you scratch the skin, there's a hardcore commie at work. Of course, but pff, that's just me saying it. Now, Troy Bramston's saying similar things, Rita. He is, and this is a, a great trick Anthony Albanese has been able to pull because he has always been a far-left ideologue. He's a part of Labor's socialist left faction, and yet he's presented himself as this middle-of-the-road moderate, this very safe pair of hands that you can trust, but... As soon as he was elected, he has been relentless in pushing this leftist agenda. At the end of the day, I don't even blame him for it because that's his belief system, that's Labor. You yeah, but they're never the honest liberals. about it. They're never you honest. Can, that's why well, I love Lydia Thorpe because she's honest. Now, James, you've been writing... You were on to the, the, the real been, Albo long ago, so I've tell been, us about I've, it. I've written a number of columns all saying that what Albanese's game here is to fundamentally transform yes. Australia. If you look at the pattern of things that he does, he's very much following an Obama mm -hmm. model, like mm -hmm. right down to his makeover, you know, and some of the tactics that he uses. But if you look at the agenda, both socially, politically and economically, everything he's doing is about changing the environment in which we all operate. So, you know, we see this through the voice, but also through everything from not putting King Charles on the $5 note to, you know, the constant welcomes to countries. The whole thing is about creating a new political climate in which we all sort of swim and decide that that's normal. That's to get through the republic and undermine modern Australia. We see this through economics. We see the way that every single thing he does is a slow nationalization of everything and a drawing of power Back to Canberra. We saw this with the superannuation reforms mm. um, and the way in which they threw out very big stuff, got everybody excited, and then pushed out this one quite radical policy and then said, oh, no, this is a very reasonable change. You have to look for this pattern where they get everybody all frazzled up about something and then they say, oh, no, that's not going to happen, but then they slip through something yeah around the side. This is the pattern that they use over and over again. It's straight Obama playbook. It's straight out of the West Wing. Um, and everybody needs to be alert to it. Absolutely, but it's Tony Blair. It's the left every time. The deception is, is just unbelievable. Yeah, but, but don't you want conservatives to behave the same way, that when they actually have power... Oh, do something with it, sure. But they don't yeah. waste no, it's not term that. It's, after term it's the deception doing I object nothing to. Object, uh, that actually advances well, Rita, this, the conservatives can... Rita, 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 this is what it gets down to. And, you know, we can see this with Albanese versus John Prosciutto or Pasuto or whatever his name is. Now, I've, I can't even remember. But, you know... The moderates in the Liberal Party, they want to get into Parliament. Yeah. The people in Labour, they want to change the country. Exactly. And, and until you see in the Liberal Party, and we're starting to see this come out of Peter Dutton with the budget reply speech, which I know you're going to yep. be talking about a little bit, Rowan, um, until you get that conviction straight through the parliamentary parties at the state and federal level, you're not going to actually win and transform the country in the way that Howard did.